Time is short. What is your life? It's even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. If I told, if someone had told me when I was 20 years old that life was very short and would pass just like that, I wouldn't have believed it. And if I tell you that, you don't believe it either. I cannot get young people to understand how brief life is, how quickly it passes. It seems like yesterday I was in school. Every one of us here has been given the same amount of time in a day. 1,440 minutes a day, 168 hours per week. I'd write down my priorities in life. And I'd get committed to certain priorities. Now is the accepted time. The things we ought to do, the classes we ought to take, the books we ought to read. Do it now. The family that needs you, spend more time now. Write that letter home now that you've been meaning to write. Money you ought to give, give now. Time for study, do it now. People you ought to witness to, do it now. Every time the clock ticks, it seems to say now, today, if you will hear his voice. There may not be a tomorrow for you and for me because there's a warning to time. Time is running out for all of us. Time is too short for indecision and vacillation. Do not halt between two opinions. Fools say that time is long. Every morning we have 86,400 seconds to spend and to invest. And each day the bank named time opens a new account for you and for me. It allows no balances and no overdrafts. If you fail to use the day's deposits, the loss is yours. Jesus said, as long as it is day, we must do the work of him that sent us. The night is coming when no man can work. The night is going to come in your life. Yet there was a serenity about the work of the Lord Jesus. It's the quality of life, not the length. Jesus only had 33 years. And it ended on the cross. To the world, he was a failure at that moment. Yet at the end of his life, he said, I finished the work that thou gavest me to do. It doesn't matter whether you live another year or two years or five years. Will your work be finished? Is there a quality to it? Is there a dedication to it? Suppose all of our members tithe their time to witness for Christ as we tithe our income for the church. Fill your heart with the Word of God. I've found that those who know the Scriptures are the ones that have the power today. But we need men and women who walk with God. And if you do that, you too can finish the work that God gave you to do. And help us to realize the brevity and the urgency of time. And may we invest what little time we have in the kingdom of God.